Hello everyone, my name is Katya Rusetska and um, I'm a culture manager and co-founder of NGO Kultura Medialna based in Dnipro, Ukraine. Uh, Kultura Medialna creates and manages art and culture projects in the field of community development and supports various civic initiatives through culture. So our team particularly interested in how social and political realities impact on individual stories and collective histories. Uh, so right now, Kultura Medialna works on the, it's working on the launching Dnipro Center for Contemporary Culture. And it will be the first platform, uh, permanent platform in our city uh, that will promote activities in the sphere of contemporary art, education, and community development. Uh, so what I will do today, uh, I will uh, briefly tell about the two projects which our organization was working on and continues to work uh, in this direction now. And I will show you like short teasers from these projects. Uh, okay, pro uh, the name of the project without a place. Uh, this project was created in 2016 as a reaction to a rising uh, conflict in Eastern Ukraine uh, and a huge wave of migration uh, of internal displaced uh, people to uh, Dnipro region and to Dnipro city in particular. So uh, for the exhibition venue, for the exhibition venue, we used the Southern Railway Station. Maybe we will see it. Yeah. So yeah, for the exhibition, exhibition. Yeah. We don't have a video. Uh, Keep talking. Uh, yeah, it's a nice video, and uh, you should trust me. <laughs> Maybe I can show you somehow. Yeah, so uh, just imagine, uh, it's a huge uh, southern railway station with a huge mosaic with a Soviet Union heritage, which is now, now also uh, somehow decommunized. So uh, for the exhibition venue, we used the southern railway station, which used to be interregional station with direction to Crimea and Donetsk, uh, region, the regions uh, that are occupied right now, of course. And from 2014, this station works just uh, for suburb, uh, suburb connections. And for us, this place uh, is a metaphor for transit zone. So after losing home, inter internally displaced people were looking for peace and the beginning of new life in another place. Uh, but did they find their place? And how did the city accept them? And uh, what makes them feel home? And the overall topic was feeling home and the ways people share this feeling, building a dialogue at different levels. So we documented, documented eight um, stories of uh, internally displaced um, individuals from uh, entirely different positions uh, outside of bureaucracy and propaganda. So they were talking about uh, their deep feelings. Uh, they entered the discussion and invite the viewer. Uh, internal graduation uh, of the project is built from private to general. Discourse tends to go beyond the political plane to a more vital one at least uh, and to the historical at most. So there is no conclusion, uh, one conclusion, but, but there is a field for reflection and analysis. And yeah, uh, so it was part of installation, like a huge cube with uh, clothes. Uh, and the second project that I want to tell you, uh, I also wanted to show you some short uh, teaser. Uh, it was quite funny teaser, even with some music. So uh, the second project uh, is an ongoing project about the major club institutions, uh, centers of, uh, for all kinds of uh, cultural and awareness building activities, referred to as like a palace uh, of culture as a post, uh, in the post-Soviet countries. Um, so this, pro this project, it's a research uh, program designed to rethink and transform the post-Soviet cultural heritage. Uh, the, the result of this research uh, is a point of reference for clearer understanding uh, of the current cultural situation in uh, our city and in Eastern Ukraine, uh, and actually in all Ukraine, and I think in all post-Soviet countries. Uh, so uh, the, we were trying to develop an uh, idea how to reform and how to think about this culture, palace of culture network uh, in the interest of Ukrainian communities uh, and not just for uh, the sake of official statistic and Ukrainian propaganda that just replaced Soviet Union propaganda. So uh, uh, 
uh, if you have a time, please uh, check website uh, Kultura Medialna or YouTube channels. We have all these videos from uh, two projects, from videos uh, from the project Without a Place and Houses of Culture, uh, and I hope you will enjoy this. Um, thank you.